Hi, everyone. This is Gilberto from Maverick Media Lab, and I am here <clears throat> with our awesome client, Preston Luckett, who's uh, joining us here from Colorado. Preston, thanks for joining us here. You bet. Thank you. And we're going to be covering how he's been able to close five deals uh, from realtor partners that we helped him get uh, through the realtor meetings. He's going to just share his honest feedback on how he was able to make that happen. He's going to talk about the appointments and all that good stuff. So just kind of before we, we dive into things, Preston, can you uh, tell us a little bit about your, uh, your background? Yeah, I've been in lending about 31 years and uh, work a lot exclusively with realtors and pretty much past clients and past client referrals. That's pretty much my, my model. So growing more realtors is very important for me. Love it. And before you started working with us, like what was the kind of main bottleneck that you were seeing like with getting like growing your referral partnerships? What was like the main thing that was holding you back from like just getting like really growing uh, that that partnership base? That one's easy. I was doing it all by myself. I didn't have someone assisting, you know, setting up appointments for me in an organized fashion. So that that was the gap that I needed to fill. Got it. And was that just like mainly through like cold calling? Um, was it through like manual texting that you were doing yourself? Like, what did that what did that look like? A lot of mine was through agents that I'm already wor worked with in the past, listing agents primarily, or yeah. referrals from existing realtors. But very, very little uh, cold calling, no cold calling, I should say. Um, so I wasn't doing any new client prospecting. Got it. Okay, so it was all through like just word of mouth, like the clients. Sorry, the the realtors that you knew, like you know, just kind of networking with them, and then also like listing agents. That you've That's done right. transactions before in the past. That was kind of like the bulk of, of how you were growing um, your realtor partnership base. What were the limitations that you were seeing with that? Was it just kind of like slow going? Um, what were kind of like the limitations? Yeah, it was very slow. And at some point, I kind of ran out of clients to prospect. Uh, because if I didn't have a referral from an agent to another agent, or I didn't, I've already gone through all the listing agents and uh, tapped out there, then it became difficult to grow because obviously then I needed to reach out to new unknown agents that did not know me. And that's where, you know, you guys were able to come in and fill that void for me. Got it. Yeah, I see that with with uh, other clients too. Like they do really well at like working their past client database. And then they also like really work like their existing sphere of influence with their realtors. And it just kind of gets to the point where like you've reached out to everyone, like everyone knows like what you do and like how you can help. And then there's just kind of like no more that that you can do. It's it's like tapped out, right? Sure. Um, so that's that's interesting. That's an interesting pattern I see all the time. Um, one thing I was gonna ask you, so like once you so once you started working with us and you started getting the appointments, like tell us like what was that like? What were the appointments like, the quality? Uh, what did that look like? I think, you know, originally it was, I loved the system as far as the CRM. I could see the communication with the realtors. Um, I could see when appointments were booked, I was being notified. Um, as I mentioned to you, we, we had a little challenge getting into the qualifying of the leads in the beginning to make sure those buying agents were at a certain volume or not. But the, the team on your side took some really good feedback from me and we're constantly trying to work and improve things, which was really important to me because um, I, I look for the same in my own systems as well. Um, but the, once the appointments got booked, I was notified and then I would confirm the appointments the day prior, which I think helped increase our show up rate uh, on the phone calls or the Zoom calls and uh, started working you know, pretty well. Nice. Yeah. And I know you had mentioned um, with the team helping to confirm and then also you uh, doing your own confirmations, we're seeing like a 90% um, show up rate, which is like really good uh, with the agents. And you were doing those with uh, Zoom calls, right? You were primarily yeah. hopping on with the agents and, and doing some Zoom calls with them. Was there any um, like in-person meetings that you were also able to do as well? Because yeah. I know kind of. Yeah. In fact, a couple of the agents we did agree to meet uh, in person. A couple of the calls went so well, we just, it was okay on Zoom and we got the chance to meet each other's teams and and we started working together and and we're continuing to do so. But yeah, a couple in-person meetings came from that and have gone gone well so far. And we're going to continue to nurture those relationships. Nice. And what did it look like in terms of like deals closed as of like right now? Um, what Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Like deals closed and then like the amount of like solid partners that are still referring you business. Um, what does yeah. that look like? Yeah, so we've had five closed transactions to this point and uh, four existing realtor relationships that we're continuing to nurture and stay in touch with. And hopefully that'll grow to more as they refer uh, potentially other agents. 
And we might yeah. also get those clients to refer us other clients too. So uh, those other closed deals can turn to other additional leads and uh, realtors, hopefully that we have now can refer us maybe to some other agents as well. So we're going to continue to grow that. Yeah, it's interesting how it's like a ripple effect, right? Like it's kind of like, you know, the the referral partners that you get, like you do transactions with them. And then like those clients that you get from those referral partners, they refer people and then those realtors refer yeah. people. So it kind of has like this almost like cascade effect um, where it just kind we of- into, into <laughs> yeah, many. yeah, absolutely. That's what we're always hoping for is more referrals. Instead of just one client, it turns to three or five. You never know, right? Yeah. And what were, <clears throat> when you were making your decision to, to work with us, I know um, one of our clients had mentioned you had other options that you were looking at as well. Like what made you decide to move forward with us as opposed to like maybe another company or, or just another option um, when it comes to marketing? You know, um, it was probably the simplicity of the system. Um, I didn't want to get too heavily involved and get pulled into learning a whole new CRM and having to be an, a real active participant as far as scheduling those appointments or any of that. It was just very simple. I was notified when appointment was set. I was given a text and um, it was just very simple to work around with minimal involvement on my part. So I could work other aspects of my business as well uh, and kind of let you guys handle the parts you do well. And it, and it seemed to work pretty good. Yeah, it's definitely by design. We always try to make it as like uh, to the point where like we just want you on the meetings and then like to, that's it. And then we yeah. take care of like all the prospecting, all of like the number tech side of things. And and you just talk to as many realtors as possible. Um, so I'm glad that that's the way it played out for you. And what would you say to someone who's like watching this video now and like is either about to hop on a call with us or like they've already had a call? Like, what would you say to that specific person who's like maybe on the fence, like they don't know whether or not to pull the trigger um, what would you say to that person? Well, I'd say two things. If you're looking for a simple model to just encourage more relationships that you can nurture, um, I think it's it's probably the simplest model that I've worked with. And I would say you got nothing to lose, but to take a look at it very seriously, because, you know, even just one or two great realtor relationships can radically shift your business. And so this allows you to, I think, move through a lot of agents more quickly than you would be able to do by yourself. So it allows huge leverage. And these are agents that are likely going to be uh, cold call type agents that I probably wouldn't have prospected on my own that you guys have been able to help with in that regard. So I think there's some big advantages there for sure. Definitely. And one thing I was just curious about now is like, as you were saying that you've been in industry for around 31 years, what yeah. have been kind of like, I guess, the things that you've seen other loan officers like across the 31 years that has kind of held them back? Because I'm sure you've probably seen, especially now and like this year, like people like, you know, leaving the industry and all that stuff because they weren't really able to, you know, really make it in the industry. So what are some of the things that you kind of feel like hold loan officers back when it comes to like growing those referral partnerships? What are what are those things where they're just kind of missing? Yeah, no, it's a good question. There's probably a lot of things, but the thing that comes to mind is they don't they don't invest in their business, I think, and and treat it like a business. And all businesses have R and D. You know, they're they're allocating anywhere from ten to thirty uh, percent back into the research and development of their business uh, and investing in it like a business instead of uh, you know treating it kind of like an employee where they're expecting to get paid. They work a week and expect to get paid. Uh, we're obviously running our own business. So we need to look at tools and tech uh, tech tools that allow us to leverage ourselves and replicate ourselves without being the only one driving that bus. And I think that's what your model allows. You know, again, a couple of relationships just with good realtors can radically shift our business. And, and the way I look at it is you get one to two closed loans in the transaction, of, uh, or one to two transactions, it pretty much pays for your model. And then everything after that, if you nurture those relationships, which you're expected to do anyway, um, you know, will turn around to a very profitable, you know, possibility for you. Yeah, I think that also applies to like self-generated loan officers, right? Like that, um, that might not have like their own mortgage company, but like they, they are like self-generating. So it's kind of like they have to almost think of um, themselves as like the business owner, even if they might not have employees at that point, like really like investing themselves so that they can really talk to as many loan officers, have that leverage already, which is yeah. one thing, kind of a keyword that I heard from what you had said, using that leverage to be able to like 
talk to as many realtors in the least amount of time so they could grow their, yeah. their business, especially during this time right now. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think leverage is the key uh, to your model. And, uh, and again, it's you're prospecting particular people that I'm more than likely wouldn't be reaching out to and doing it on my behalf in a, in a much faster rate uh, that I could. And um, I think it's a, a very important part of reinvesting back in our business. 100%. And uh, yeah, Preston, I just want to thank you for like uh, choosing us and like, you know, how, you know, having us help you with, with growing your mortgage business. I know you've given us a lot of, of uh, valuable feedback and we've just kind of, you know, each other been growing our businesses together, the feedback that you've given us. And, you know, I think it's been like a really good relationship. So I'm just super happy that you've, that you've seen, you know, these results and, you know, hopefully we'll continue to work together. And yeah, I mean, I'm just really happy to hear about the results that you've seen so far. Thank you. No, I'm happy to be a part of it and hopefully continue to keep growing it. Definitely. Yeah, I appreciate your time on here. And Thank I know you. now it's kind of like the holidays week. So I um, appreciate you, you know, hopping on on here and carving out time to uh, give us your feedback. Absolutely. Thank you very much.